flowers and candles lay by a tree on Thompson Avenue and 30th Street in memory of 16-year-old Tenzin Judak. Police say the Applied Communication High School student was killed Monday when a van jumped the curb at this intersection on 30th and Thompson Avenue. When I heard the news, like, I was shocked and like, it was very sad. Four LaGuardia Community College students were also injured. Officials say cars rushed down Thompson Avenue to get on the Queensboro Bridge or to the Midtown Tunnel while thousands of students and pedestrians tried to cross the street. <coughs> Student Government President Shah Amanat says he submitted a petition to the DOT in July with 500 signatures regarding the timing of the lights. He says the DOT responded 90 days later, saying that no traffic signal changes were recommended at that time. Every day when we cross the street, we face a lot of threatening by, by the car. City Councilman Jimmy Van Bramer says he's been vocal about traffic calming measures on Thompson Avenue around LaGuardia Community College. It is impossible to spend any amount of time here and to not conclude that it could be made safer. It's a shame that a student had to give his life to call attention to this. We've asked the Department of Transportation for many improvements here. It's gone unanswered, but today I can assure you through the council member, we will see action. Although there are already barricades here on Thompson Avenue, one of the recommendations are to extend the barricades to the corner there where the traffic cones are because that's where Tenzin was hit and killed. Officials are also asking the DOT to conduct a comprehensive study on the timing of the traffic lights and to add traffic safety agents. A DOT spokesperson says the agency is already working with LaGuardia Community College to improve pedestrian safety, with some safety enhancements including sidewalk extensions at the intersection. In Long Island City, Agnes Chung, New York One.